morning guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video. And before I actually get to this shop, before I actually get any work done, um, I really wanted to take care of all my cars. I have my Audi R8 that I haven't had a single car wash on since we got the ceramic coating done on it. And I have my i3 sitting over there, my dad's cars. Let's just say a lot of our cars need some washing and uh, we never really get around to it because it takes so much time. I'm really hoping this tool from Giraffe Tools is gonna make washing your cars is so much faster. So for those of you guys who thought you saw it all, this is the power washer that every car enthusiast wants. This power washer is a wall mounted power washer with auto retraction, which basically means it is super easy to use whenever you wanna use it. You don't have to keep pulling out a bunch of cords and whatnot and a bunch of hoses and connect everything together and you know have a bunch of things everywhere and trip on top of the wires and the hoses and whatnot. This bad boy is super organized, super clean, and it's gonna make washing my cars so much easier. So good. It looks like I'm going to a car wash. Alright, so now that the car is fully washed up, let's go ahead and use this bad boy to get everything off. Touchless car wash. It's super nice. So now that the R8 is cleaned up and it's looking super fresh, uh, we took the daily out. <laughs> We ended up washing the daily as well. Honestly, guys, the Giraffe Tools pressure washer, it's made it super easy. I washed like five cars in less than an hour. So yeah, super love that tool. But anyways, the title of this video basically dictates that uh, your man is leaving his house. And uh, is it forcefully? Not really, that's the clickbait portion. So the only person that's currently living in this house right now is our boy, Freddy. This guy literally comes out of nowhere. Um, and just, he's like the only person here right now. We did move everything out of this house. And the reason being, we'll get into when we actually get to the shop. But let's just say the reason that we actually left this house is actually very beneficial. Um, we didn't actually, we're not actually selling this house. Um, we are renting it out. That's gonna be a whole separate thing. Um, I'm not gonna be talking about that. But we got the house pretty much all cleared up, cleaned up. We finally, you know, the lawn is finally taken care of, as you guys can see. Yeah, looking good, looking good, finally, after about a year and a half. And this place literally looks like the day we actually moved in, which is kind of crazy, which is pretty much a year and a half ago, right? Two years. Two years ago. So. Kind of crazy to say that we're actually, damn, it's actually so clean. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but it's just crazy to say that we're actually leaving this place right now. Again, we're not selling it. We're not getting rid of it. Um, this is just a better, like, financial, uh, I, again, I'll get into all that kind of stuff when we actually get to the shop, and I'll show you guys what we're doing there exactly as well. Um, but 
just wanted to give you guys a little update with my life and what's going on. Literally spent the better part of the last couple of weeks just moving out of here, getting things to the shop, upstairs in the storage, moving in with my parents, which is kind of crazy to say. Never thought this day would come, but let's just say a lot of things led up to that decision, and which some of the stuff I'll tell you guys in a little bit at the shop, and then some of the stuff you guys are gonna have to wait because it's crazy news. And um, again, you just you have to wait. So I just, I just see you guys at the shop at this point. Welcome back guys, so we're finally at the shop. And as you guys can see, um, this place has changed significantly. So we actually finally got this place together using a lot of the furniture we have from the house because we weren't really, we weren't really home often. Honestly, as soon as we got this place, we were never at my house. So that's one of the one of the reasons why we ended up leaving it. Uh, but as you guys can see right now, we have pretty much a lot of things over here. It's finally feeling a lot more homey. It's a super nice work environment. The painted walls are definitely a nice add-on. We got some water over here. Um, we're gonna be adding a bunch of merch things over here, some dream cars, stuff like that be working towards um, so you can see that you know manifestation is real so I actually need to put the R rate over here because we got that drink accomplish that dream I need to slap that on there uh, but coming over here um, we do have a setup right over here that we're gonna be using to list up some parts take some pictures and I'm still a setup station over here we have another setup station right over here um, using a bunch of like stuff from our house old computers things like that monitors and we just honestly brought it here it's cost effective but at the same time um, it looks it actually looks pretty dang good so I'm super happy about that um, business stuff over there. You don't need to worry about that back there. And then right over here, um, this is just storage. So I want to show you, it's a little messy in here, but storage, little, you know, you know, a little break station over here, you know, food, snacks. Uh, what is this thing called again? I forgot. Air fry. Gotta get yourself one of these. They're pretty sick, honestly. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a little update on the inside of the office. The main update, honestly, the biggest transformation for this entire office space, is, I don't know if I showed it to you guys, uh, is this room right over here. So this room, let me go ahead and close this real quick because uh, bathrooms never look that great. But uh, this place is starting to feel a lot like home already. We got the TV over here, we got snacks over here. This is our break room. Um, we pretty much moved the couches and the table from our house. Um, to this place just because again, we're not really using it over there and since we're moving out It's either we sell it for cheap or we bring it here and honestly this place looks super sick at this point right behind this as well I don't know if you guys know I have two cats muffin and mocha So now they have their own little tower of success tower of happiness tower of whatever you may call it um, But yeah, this place is really coming together again feeling like homes also a great working environment I honestly stay very 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 late here with my Wife, my beautiful wife behind the camera. Um, we spend probably up until like 8 p.m. here just getting work done. And at the same time, as we're working, we have a little break room, which is nice and comfortable. Um, and long story short, as soon as it hits 8, 9, I head back to uh, me papa's place. He actually moved back there. Um, but we had to do some stuff. We Some sacrifices had to be made um, just because if you just need to sit down and evaluate your life and see what things are just costing you too much and uh, what things are, you know, a worth, like a worth cost and what things are worthless costs. Um, and, you know, end of the day, we made a decision and uh, this place obviously had to stay. This is the future of this channel. This is the future of my future. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on with this place. So right over there is our E91 M3 just kind of chilling there like a villain, heavily neglected, but it's not for sale, so don't hit me up. Uh, that car has been working better part of a year, trying to make it look good, trying to perfect it, trying to make it honestly part of this business as well. I definitely want it to be a part of Natty Auto Parts. Um, all the kind of cool stuff that we get here, I want to slap it on my car, take it to events, things like that. But it's been heavily neglected um, just because a lot's been going on with my life. As you guys know, I started this business, um, so that's why I haven't been really uploading as much. I've been moving into my parents' place. I keep saying parents. I mean, let's just say we moved out. We moved out of my own personal place. It sounds a whole lot better. It doesn't sound like- This is shaming. Yeah. I, I I feel like I failed, but again, guys, it's it's all part of a bigger plan. Um, but yeah, the M3 is not for sale. I know a lot of you guys might say like, "Hey, Nor, could have sold your M3, could have sold your R8." You don't need an R8 if you're struggling, right? The thing is, we're not really struggling. We're not really struggling. The thing is, we have some other things going on behind the scenes. And again, that stuff will tell you guys a few months down the road. It's not about the struggle. It's primarily about just prioritizing life. And uh, our house became more of a liability than an asset by just sitting there, going there just at night. It was for Muffin and Mocha, basically. Yeah, it was pretty much for the cats. The cats, it was pretty much their home, and we're just coming in there to sleep. So I figured if we're just going to go somewhere to sleep, might as well go somewhere where you don't pay anything for rent. <laughs> so that was the whole deal with that. And again, it was just more of our house became a liability instead of an asset, and I bought the house um, for it being an asset. But 
we're not actually working there anymore so we don't have really have much use for it again we're barely ever there um so now they're pretty much here 24 7 and we're here to pretty much like 8 a.m to pretty much 10 p.m just working day and night uh so we, we just found that you know having the house was just not really needed we don't want to sell it but we are going to rent it move somewhere else you know just focus on this for a little bit and then uh you know i'll keep you guys posted i, I like to keep you guys as transparent as possible with my life just because i know a lot of you guys um, follow my journey i know a lot of you guys um get inspired by some of these videos and a lot of you guys you know want to make some hard decisions but you know it's kind of hard to do just putting it out there it's definitely worth the end of the day you only live once so uh yeah that's just kind of i guess the uh motivational speech of the day you know what i'm saying so the g80 is no longer here that car is officially fully parted out we have a few more parts that we got a list for the g80 everything else has pretty much been in these bins about to go up on the rack stuff like that um that's pretty much the only thing i've been really working on uh other than you know the moving and the bit you know a bunch of other stuff uh the g80 just because Honestly, guys, we rarely had time to honestly work here. The, the moving was a huge transition the past two weeks. Um, pretty much since the last video and this video, that was pretty much the moving period. So we had to get so much done in such little time. So yeah, guys, this video is pretty much just an update. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I'll show you guys some, you know, a little bit of work behind the scenes right now. We actually gotta work on the G80 M3 engine. Um, it has a cracked valve cover um, that we need to end up swapping out because as soon as you swap that out, that engine's gonna be rock solid, ready to go. And that is the, where the big money's at. So uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do that honestly in today's video as well. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much just kind of an update for you guys. Uh, so you kind of see where I'm at, what's taking me so long to upload. There's just a lot of things going on behind the scenes, trying to make sure that Navi Auto Parts becomes a success because this has been a long life dream. Um, obviously the R8 is amazing. It's been like a dream car of mine, but I've already accomplished that through my YouTube channel, which was actually the, the like the reason why I started my YouTube channel. I'm actually gonna throw up a little comment right over here that I posted on some kind of Ferrari video, some inspirational thing, um, six, seven years ago saying one day I wanna be a YouTuber. And then when I created my YouTube channel that like at that day, six years ago, um, and in the same description of my YouTube channel, I put one day I'll own an Audi R8. So I feel like the Audi R8 was like a trophy, a statement, um, like pretty much a, like a well-deserved gift to myself after pretty much all these years of YouTube. And don't worry guys, I'm not giving up on YouTube. I love YouTube. It's my passion. It's my love. Um, but I also now with Natty Auto Parts, I have so much more goals, visions, um, bigger things I want to accomplish with my life. So uh, the R8 is here to stay. For those of you guys who are like, why don't you just sell that to make life a little easier? Again, the struggle is not really there. We're just trying to make better financial uh, decisions for our lives and just, you know, put up, you know, if we don't need something in our lives right now, we just don't need it. Like why spend money on things you really don't need? Um, again, it's just a place to sleep end of the day. So now that you guys pretty much got the whole spiel, the little update, for those of you guys that actually care about my life, I appreciate you all. For those of you guys who don't care, still smash that like button. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and hop inside the garage and get that G80 engine together because it's not looking too good with that cracked valve cover. Once we slap on that brand new OEM valve cover from BMW, it's gonna look pretty good. It's gonna look pretty good. Not, not too shabby. 